the back in flare, came back, quick walk, got my gloves, bought my gloves and she was a very nice lady in Peacocks because um, I was on the phone to a lady that I'm going to meet up at the Gower Heritage Centre and the days are so much shorter now aren't they with the clocks going back so I haven't got much daylight to be honest and it's what 2, 2, 30, 1.30 so another few hours it'll start to get dark so I've put Flair there opposite the shop I'm at the Gower Heritage Centre but the car parks are rather full so I thought I'd better leave her there and you can walk to the Three Cliffs Bay from here, which I'm excited about seeing. Well, we've got daylight, but I love it all. I just love houses like this. It's a lovely um, little village. And I noticed there was a pub called the Gower Inn just down the road. I think you can overnight over there, but they've got an electric, but it looks really lovely. <laughs> Ooh, I think a river's burst its banks. And you've got all this water coming onto the road. Well, it's a Ford. Look at that. Well, I won't be coming in and out of there, that's for sure. So this is the Gower Heritage Centre that I've come to. Oh, we've got the red telephone box. That's so good. Little restaurant outside there. And this is their car parks, which are all very full at the moment. And when a bus comes over here. Oh, an information board. It's quite big in there. I think it's an old mill. <clears throat> and they show you the display on how they make things and everything. It's got a cafe and whatnot there. I think it's like six pounds entry fee. Da -da -da -da. But I don't really like doing stuff like that without my son. You know, that's stuff that he needs to experience and I want to experience those things with him. I'd rather be out in nature, walking, because he doesn't really like that and this is my opportunity to do it. So I might just give that a miss. Right, I've met this lovely lady, Vanda. She belongs to a <laughs> Facebook group <Hello. laughs> and her lovely dog. So now we're off to a wonder. Hi, Where are we going? Hi, Monia. Where are we going, Randa? We're going to Three Cliffs Bay, darling. Okay, oh, off we go. It's gorgeous and you're going to love her video. It's fab, <laughs> down there. Like, you right, know, so I've got a hold of all the... Do you know it's like celebrities? You normally meet celebrities. Yeah. I'm going to put this up then, after now, right? So, they're normally like yeah. tongue tied, but you're, really but you're not. But you're really <laughs> short. No. You're it's about right. So we're just walking along over to... Where are we going to Three Cliffs, aren't we? And, <laughs> and the dogs are free! <laughs> yes, that's what we like. So we've got a castle on route as well. Oh yeah, look there she is. Just it. So here we are at Three Cliffs Bay. I just want to be in the video, look. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just getting all the possible good advice of where I can park up overnight without having to overexert myself on coming up and down that hill. I think at the Gower Heritage Centre is probably the best bit if you don't want to have a heart attack, as Vanda puts it. <laughs> I've just seen these cows climbing up the mountain. I, I normally see goats, but I've never seen cows, and I'm just hoping that one makes it. <laughs> I don't, don't catch him on camera falling. Oh, he's done it. And this is what we've got. Isn't it glorious? It's not far from here, no, neither. So there goes Vanda and the dogs. She's just taken them for a little wander. I can't go through there because my boots will get wet. So we're going to try and do a walk up along that end. And she's told me of a place I can park up, which will have quite good views. And that is the three cliffs, and that's the reason why. One, two, three. All the help I can get. So I'm here with Vanda <laughs> at the three cliffs, and is she looking beautiful? Because oh, I swear, my, <laughs> <laughs> my camera. <laughs> Angelina Jolie, your heart out. <laughs> so we're having to walk over these, and Sam over there is a bit reluctant. The others were fine. But this is lovely. Our oh, blessed Vanda, she's brought all this food for us to eat. Right, so I mean, oh, it's a candle, that looks like a candle. Then. Oh, thank you. It's only good with your colours, look. Oh, it's lovely. Thank oh, you very right, much. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So I, well, I'm saying it. Oh. Yeah, can carry on. I this is like reality TV. TV. <laughs> no publicity, please. No publicity. Oh, you know, you know, it's for tomorrow, okay? Come on. Look, she's looking after me. Right. So we've decided that we'll go to the pub for a meal because there really isn't anywhere really comfortable for us to sit and enjoy the lovely food that she's brought along. She's brought crab, prawns, salad and and a sweet chilli sauce. <laughs> she's well prepared. <laughs> and if she's watched my video, she knows I really haven't got <laughs> the TV in the I haven't even got decent dining plates. <laughs> so I think it's the pub that we're going to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. No. But I'm leaving her some sweet chilli sauce, right? Because she'll know all about me after I've gone. <laughs> I've had a beautiful... Well, I did it. My friend suggested that I come over here. And this is where I have parked up. I can't give too much information away to exactly where it is, unfortunately, because the person who owns this bit of land doesn't want it to be out there in the open. And you can understand why because I've actually got this beach to myself. There's a few walkers about, but there's not that many. And this lovely woman over here. And I will kill her if she tells. <laughs> <laughs> right, she's brought me into a real posh restaurant. <laughs> With this kind of behaviour. <laughs> I thought I was mad, but no, she's mad at her. <laughs> so we decided that we're going to order two mains. Are you going to say what they are? We are going to order uh, Moore's Marie with extra crusty bread and chips. And then we're going to order pork belly with black pudding and homemade bramble apple sauce. And we're going to share with them and we're going to really enjoy it. And ha 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 because you're not you with this. To go in. And we've got a beautiful view of the sea oh, yeah. show the 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 over there. But it's rather posh. And I was a bit shocked because I ordered myself a strawberry and lime cider and a glass of wine with a, just a splash of soda. I know, I thought she was going to have a melted down. <laughs> Is that room? <laughs> buying, buying the next round. So it's all fine. It's fine. <laughs> So Don't this is a starter. Oh, so what, what is it? Um, belly pork. Belly pork with. Yeah. Oh, right. Shut, I think it's coming up. Right. No, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Right. Ready? Oh. And we've got mussels with white wine, garlic. Yeah. Chips. Oh, oh, lime. So we're going to share this, aren't we, Nanda? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you want to see me? So we're going to get someone else to try it and tell us what it's like, the belly pork. Hello. Nice? Mm hmm? Fast. Okay, let me... Well, I want to try the belly pork. It's the first time I've actually tried this. Mmm, it's nice and moist. Mmm, that's really good. Mm. That bit of sauce. Yeah. Oil. Oh. Oh. I wish we had more of it. <coughs> there is a truffle on here. I've never, ever, ever had truffle. Maybe I should just try the truffle on its own and see yeah. what, what all the big hype's about. If you take that, there you go. Well, let me just try the truffle on its own. I've never had one, so what is all the fuss about? It's in truffle, it's in truffle oil, I think. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, darling. That's not much flavour. It does taste a bit crunchy. <laughs> you sure that's a truffle? Right, she's told me to call her auntie. So auntie is saying put auntie bones, e everything in there, soaking up the garlic white wine sauce. So we've come outside for a drink and she's looking for her glasses. I'm on the uh, raspberry and lime cider, which is probably the best thing that I got from there. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but the views are absolutely lovely. So we've enjoyed our drinks, so now we're going to go back to the van and get the dogs out of the car and take them for a walk on the beach. So we've got 
well, drunk or drunk, the drink, <laughs> <laughs> drinks. <laughs> and we're going to go back to the car and get the dogs and go for a walk on the beach. Right, I think I found a really special place. You probably can hear it already. It's where I am. That. I'm gonna have a really good evening. I'm gonna go for a walk along the beach now. It's one of the things that I was so looking forward to doing. Only me again, another wild camp tonight. And I'm gonna go for a walk outside. I'll show you where in a minute with a head torch. And I, I know a lot of you are torch crazy. And this one's a pretty bad one. I have to press the button and I've lost that bit there because <laughs> I and I don't think it's really that powerful. But I don't really use a light when I'm out walking. I'd rather be um, in the dark. My sight's not too bad at the moment. But what torches would you recommend that I purchase, uh, which are good? And I'll show you where I'm at. You're not going to see much, but you probably can hear what's going on outside. And this is an exclusive area that I'm in. It's not a well-known place and they've asked me not to like really tell anyone where where it is. But the sea's just there. And I'm gonna be listening to that tonight. And there's toilets. And there is a pub just just there. <laughs> what I've been so looking forward to this. Going for a walk on the beach at night. I just love it. I don't know if you can get it, but you see it's kind of lit up actually and there's a nice little place over there. It's just so beautiful walking along this beach at night. And you can see I've come back for my walk along the beach at night. Oh god, I just so enjoy it. Um it's still early. It's only about 7.30, so I'm gonna make my cup of coffee and then I'm gonna go back out there again. And it's not even cold in here. I have not even bothered putting the heating on or on nothing. It's quite pleasant. It's getting rather nippy out there and cold. I can hear the sea and the wind is starting to blow quite a lot now, which is fantastic. I absolutely love it. So I'm decided I'm just have my coffee and sit in the van and listen to it all. It's very therapeutic. I know a lot of you have been following me for a number of years. You've seen me go from a bilingo to the auto sleeper. And Flair is fully equipped, isn't she? She's got a leisure battery on board. She's got a fridge on board. She's got a gas stove and a grill on board. She's got a water pump on board with a sink. But do I use any of it? No. I'm parked up by the sea. I'm not even finding it cold. I haven't even put the Propex heater on. I'm just gonna sling myself into bed with my hot water bottle. My All my lights are run off batteries. There's little batteries. I've only put this on, uh, which runs off the leisure battery, just to make this video. I have a fridge, which runs off gas and leisure battery. I don't have that on. I've got a gas stove. Well, you know that I don't use that. <laughs> I have a 70 litre water tank, but I rely on five litre water bottles so that I know exactly how much water I've got. So, <laughs> really, <laughs> is an amazing oh she's she's perfect for me really is and having the leisure battery and the gas tank is just purely emergency backup if everything else fails and it gets too much I mean last night it was too cold and I needed to put the heating on um, and that's about the only time and I doubt it very much I'm gonna put it on again tonight and I'm gonna switch that off and the LED lights that I've got underneath here are run off the leisure battery but they take a minimal amount Okay, I use the leisure battery to charge my mobile phones. <laughs> yeah. um, but that's about it, really. And 
I think the plus point of having flare, if anything, is probably the insulation. That has got to make, that's probably made the biggest difference from um, having a normal van to one that's properly done up is the insulation because I definitely noticed the difference in the summer and the winter from days back in my other vans because Belinga wasn't the only one it's only from Belinga that I started making videos before that I had a Scudo I had a, uh, a Ford Transit minibus I had an LDV Pilot I used a Citroen Synergy uh, I had a Fiat Scudo none of them were insulated and boy, does it make a difference, definitely. So I'm going to get my hot water bottle, get changed and get into bed. This is probably the latest I've stayed up, to be honest. It's about 11 o'clock. So I'm going to go to sleep now. I've not had any music on or anything like that because I just wanted to listen to the sea. And uh didn't send me off to sleep. <laughs> I was too, um, I don't know, just so relaxed. So I'm going to say good night and uh, I'll see you in the morning.